Rally drivers maintain control over their cars like hardly anyone else without any problems of over or understeering. In critical situations, ordinary drivers often are at odds over what to do. A company called ProDrive has developed a system for Subaru's rally cars to help the regular man on the street. Damien Harty came up with the idea. When normal people drive a car, then uh, they steer a little bit and the car steers a little bit. And if they steer some more, then the car steers some more. And there's a very strong connection between the steering wheel and the car. When they start driving quickly or perhaps trying to avoid having an accident, then that connection is lost and we, we call that a loss of linearity. Drivers tend to turn the wheel too much and understeer the car. While the front wheels are pointed to turn, the car continues to go straight ahead or in the case of oversteer, the rear end loses traction and fishtails. What we are trying to do with the ATD system is to bring back that connection between the car and the steering wheel so that the driver has an easier driving experience. The system was installed in this Subaru Impreza WRX STI, a prototype. Electronically governed, active differentials distribute the torque in only fractions of a second to the front and rear wheels. Essentially, a tyre has to transfer the drive force, the brake force and the side force. Should one of these factors be greater, the others are proportionally smaller. ProDrive makes use of this. The drive forces are constantly changing so that the tyre builds up or loses lateral support. When the car is oversteering, then the car is turning too much for the amount the driver turns the wheels. And so then we make the drive force go to the front wheels and the side force on the front wheels is reduced. And so the back wheels can help pull the car back into line. How the system works is shown in this test. A car driving at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour swerves from right to left. With ATD, the name given to this system, the driver has no problem steering right. Without ATD, at the same speed, he has to correct his steering much more. Without the necessary skill to react correctly, an accident can happen. That's what ESP is normally for, so why an extra system? Why ATD? ESP and ATD are like different sides of the same coin. Um, ATD works very well when the driver is driving and ESP is very good at slowing the car down. Sometimes using the brakes is not what the driver wanted and some people are not so happy about the behaviour of the ESP system. So. A, a vehicle which has ESP and ATD can give some fun to drive and very safe behaviour. In order to demonstrate how much fun it can be, we turn on the ATD system in the Subaru prototype. In setting three, the all-wheel drive Impreza drives nearly like a rear-wheel drive. Experienced drivers now steer with the gas pedal. Once the system is turned off again, like here on the left, the power goes to the front wheels and it understeers. That may be safer, but not as sporty or thrilling. Sharp curves normally require the use of the handbrake and the skill of a rally driver. By understanding the, the tricks that the rally driver uses, then we can understand some of the things that we need to make the car do. And so, if you like, we can build in some of the rally driver's tricks into the car so that the driver doesn't need to be a rally driver to drive well. Still, ordinary drivers will hardly be able to pull off such tricks. But to have even more fun with high-performance all-wheel drive vehicles, ATD is a fascinating piece of equipment, and some car makers have already expressed an interest in it.